Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls' night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again in your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, These are five reasons why he starts to lose interest in you. Right, ladies? So these are the top five reasons why a man just all of a sudden starts to lose interest in you. Like he stops calling as much as he was. He stops texting as much as he was. It's like he just, sometimes even he just ghosts you. And you wondering why this man just ghosted me out the blue. Like everything was just good. And we talking on the phone. We having a good time. We going out on dates. Maybe y'all went out on a few trips. Maybe he bought you a few things. Then all of a sudden, he ghosts you or he block you. He block your number. He block you on Instagram, Facebook. He blocked you on all social media. He don't want to talk to you no more. And you looking like, what did I do? Like, we were just good. We were just talking yesterday. Or we were just talking, you know, and just had a good time. But now you switching up. Now you starting to act funny, right? So a lot of times a man will start to switch up on you and he will start to just lose interest and he'll start ignoring you. And you like, see, why is this man ignoring me? Why this man don't want to talk to me? Why this man just, he act like I don't even exist, you know? Or sometimes he was chasing you so hard to win you over in the beginning. He wanted all your attention. He wanted all your affection. And then when he finally got you, a lot of times after a man gets you and he feel like he got you, now he starts to just lose interest. As soon as you start liking him back, now he don't like you no more. You see how that happens sometimes? 
as soon as you start liking the man back and you like, oh, okay. You know, at first, at first you was playing hard to get. You might've been playing real hard to get and this man was on your body. He was chasing you. He was calling, texting. He wanted to see you. He wanted to spend money on you. He was really trying to be seen and for you to notice him. Then once you did finally pay him some attention and you started to entertain him and you started liking him back, now he don't like you no more. Now he not chasing you no more. Now he not trying so hard like how he was in the beginning. And you like said, why is it that when I started showing interest back to him or when I started to like him back, now he don't want me no more? Or... When everything was just good, he just blocked me out the blue or he just ignored me or sometimes it's a gradual thing. Sometimes it go from you two being on the phone every day, you talking, you falling asleep on the phone, you waking up on the phone, you on the phone all day long on his lunch breaks, when he in the car, when he leaving work, when he going anywhere. When he at home, he on the phone with you all day long, right? And he texting you all day long. He just all in your face, right? Then he starts to skip days. Then he starts talking to you every other day. Then he might talk to you three times a week. Then he starts talking to you one time a week. Then he stopped talking to you all together. And you like, what happened? Why this man don't want to show me no interest? Why this man, like, what happened? What did I do? You know, was it something that I did? Like, and sometimes you don't even know. You like, what did I even do? I didn't even do nothing, right? Sometimes you ain't even do nothing. Or at least nothing that you could think of to just make this man upset or to cause this man to not want to talk to you no more or to just... Make this man just block you, ignore you, and not want to talk to you no more. So now you just confused. A lot of women, you just confused as to why a man was chasing you in the beginning, then he just stopped. Or a man was just trying so hard to win you over in the beginning, then when you let him in or you start liking him back, now he don't want you no more. Or, you know, over time, he just stopped putting in so much effort and he started giving you the bare minimum at first this man used to give you the full maximum now he give you the bare minimum and you like wait a minute he was doing so much all in my face in the beginning now he don't want to be in my face no more like what's up right so ladies in this video i'm gonna go over just a few reasons probably the top five reasons why a man would just lose interest in a woman and what happens to make a man want to lose interest in you and you just want to see a few reasons why you know what happened because you just confused and you don't know what's going on so i'm gonna clarify it for you and break it down from a man's point of view as to why men you know, don't want to show a woman interest no more after a while, okay? So we're gonna jump right to it. We're going number one. So number one, the first reason why a man will just ghost you, he'll just ignore you, he'll walk away from you, he'll block you out of the blue all of a sudden, don't want to show you no interest, not taking you out on no dates, not calling and texting you no more. He got lazy now. Number one is his ex came back to him or he found a whole new woman, right? So sometimes the reason why he ghosting you and he not taking you out no more and he blocked your number out the blue and or he ignoring you or he don't pick up his phone no more. He don't text you no more. He not putting in no more effort no more. Is because his ex came back. So you never know. Maybe he had an ex, right? And maybe them two was on a break. You know how people be on a break, you know? Or maybe he's in no contact. He might have been in no contact with his ex, you know? And then in the meantime, he just 
wanted a woman just to occupy his time while he in no contact with his ex. So you was the woman that he was occupying his time with. So you was basically a placeholder because the woman he really wanted was his ex. And he was just waiting for his ex to take him back or he was waiting for his ex to come back to him or somebody was going to break the no contact, whether he broke the no contact with her or she broke the no contact with him. You know, you was just the girl on the side that got caught up in everything, but you didn't even know you was on the side of this man's attention. This man really wanted his ex back. And then when his ex finally came back or his ex said, hey, you know, I miss you. I want you back. He took her back. And then he said, all right, well, goodbye with you. I don't care about you. You was just the pastime girl. You was the meantime, in between time girl until I got my ex back or until me and my ex got off of our break. You know, we was taking a break because we was, you know, beefing, couldn't see eye to eye. We was arguing a lot. So we gave each other space, but then we got back together. But sometimes in that space, you know how you be on a on a break with somebody and, you know, you might go date somebody else for a little bit. They might go date somebody else for a little bit, whatever. But it don't be nothing that you really want or something that you're really serious about. It's just a pass the time until, you know, maybe things kind of get better between y'all two and y'all come back together. So that's what happened. Basically, him and his ex rekindled things and they both got back together. So what happened to you? You got to go. He kicked you out the door. Because a lot of times when the conversation gets shorter with you, it's getting longer with another woman. Anytime the conversation start getting shorter and shorter and shorter with you, a lot of times it's because it's getting longer, longer, longer with a whole nother woman. And this time it's his ex. So it could be any type of ex, though. It could be his baby mama, maybe his baby mama. You know, a lot of the men, they still be messing with their baby mama. You know, their baby mama still let them, you know, have sex with them, still give them some booty every now and again. You know, they may not be together, but sometimes a man know he can always go back to his baby mama and get some booty, you know? Or maybe it wasn't his baby mama. Maybe it's his ex-girlfriend from, you know, a long time ago. Maybe his ex-girlfriend from years ago. Or maybe his past ex-girlfriend that he just broke up with. Maybe, you know, and that's why you got to be careful. You got to be very, very careful when a man tells you, oh, me and my ex just broke up, right? Like, let's say you just met this man. You and this man just meet and y'all talking and he say, yeah, me and my ex just broke up a month ago. Or me and my ex just broke up a few weeks ago. Me and my ex just broke up two two months ago. You know, sometimes he not over his ex. Sometimes it, that, that, that breakup is still fresh. So it can still go either way, you know? So sometimes when you meet this man... If he has not been single for a long enough period of time to be able to get over his ex, sometimes his ex still got that door open because he still low-key secretly miss her and want her back. And if that opportunity do come, then, hey, you got to go. So you got to be careful about dating a man. And he just told you, yeah, you know, I just got out of something. Me and my ex just broke up last week or last month or two months ago, whatever. Because you might just put yourself in a position where you are the rebound. You might just be the rebound girl. And you don't want to be the rebound, right? And that's sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes a man don't show you no more interest no more because you the rebound. You were just a woman to help me get over my ex. But my ex came back, so you got to go. You know, I'm going to kick you to the curb. You got to go. Bye. You know, it was nice knowing you. Goodbye. My ex came back. Bye. You know, so sometimes it's like that. 
So never be a rebound and just understand sometimes a man ex come back. And it could be, like I said, his baby mama. It could be his ex-girlfriend from a long time or for a short time ago that he just broke up with. Or it could be, you know, some little chicken head that he used to deal with back in the day. Maybe she wasn't necessarily a girlfriend per se, but, you know, she was just somebody he used to kick it with. You know, he was in a situation ship back in the day with her and she came back. But she's still low-key considered an ex because that's somebody he used to have sex with, even though they wasn't officially together. Or his ex-wife. Maybe he was married before and, you know, they got a divorce and now his ex-wife want him back. Now they're going to get remarried again. They just got a divorce or they're separated. Now they're getting back together they going to live back together and rekindle things for the kid's sake or for their love, whatever, right? Sometimes they get back together, you know, when they got kids together. Sometimes they want to have the whole family unit and maybe they, was, they just wasn't seeing eye to eye, but they got kids together. So they say, hey, let's get back together for the kids. And that leave you out in the cold somewhere because now, you know, they have family now and you can't be there no more. So his ex came back, right? Whatever ex, ex-girlfriend, baby mama, ex-wife, some little chicken head, whatever, right? Now, or it could be a brand new woman. Maybe it was not a woman from his past. It might not have been a woman from his past. Maybe it's a brand new woman that he met while he was talking to you. Maybe this man really did like you. Maybe he said, yeah, she cool. We can hang out. We can have fun. We can kick it. We have good sex. It's, it's, it's an amazing time with her. You know, I can call her all day. You know, it's such a great vibe. I really like her. Blah, blah, blah. Right? He like you. However, maybe the girl of his dreams came along. Maybe he met a new girl. Maybe he met a new girl and she showed him some attention and she was all over him. And that was a woman that he really wanted. He really wanted the, the, the girl with the big booty and whatever. And that's the woman that he really wanted. He really wanted the girl with the big booty that was pretty and whatever, right? And you was just a placeholder. Maybe he liked you only because, you know, maybe he felt like you was the best that he could attract. But then to this man, when a woman that he perceived to be better than you, now he go for that option because he feel like that's a better option. So he leave you alone because, hey, this the girl I envision myself with. This the girl I really want. And she might not be better than you. Maybe her booty bigger and that's what he like. Or maybe, you know, she just his, his type per se aesthetically. But that's all. You know, she not better than you on paper. She might just be better as far as maybe the looks or the aesthetic or what he deems as better, whatever, right? So some girl in his dreams finally showed him some attention, came out the blue. He met a new girl at the mall or at the club or online on Instagram, on, fa on Facebook, on social media, whatever, on the dating apps. Maybe he's still secretly on the dating app and he found a new girl, right? So that's the girl he really wanted to be with. So you're the placeholder the whole time. Or maybe it might have been the girl he always wanted, but, you know, he knew her from the past, you know? Maybe it was a girl that he knew back in the day that he been trying to holler at, right? This the thing. It's a lot of men that they got that one girl they could never get. They've been knowing this girl maybe since they was in high school or sometime before then. Or the girl in college he could never get. Or the girl, you know, on Instagram that he always liked for years. He had a crush on this woman for years. 
the girl on Facebook, he had a crush on her for years and she never replied back to him. He always DM'd her or inboxed her. She never replied. Or maybe they went to the same college together. She ain't show him no, no time of day. She ain't never give him no chance, you know? So maybe over time, maybe that girl that he always had a crush on all these years, she finally gave him a chance. The girl that he always wanted for years, he always had a crush on this girl. He used to sit in class and be staring at this girl like, ooh, I want her so bad. Or he used to see her on, online on social media and like all her pictures and, and be commenting on her and she never showed him no love. But now, for whatever reason, his childhood crush or his adulthood crush started to like him and started to show him some love. So now he like, this the girl I always wanted. I always wanted her. She was always so fine in class or online. I liked her so much and I finally get her after years and years and years of chasing this woman down. I finally got her. So, hey, you, you gotta go. Hey, the girl of my dreams who I've been chasing down for so long, my crush finally came back to me. So now I got to leave you alone. You know, this girl finally came around and showed me some time. And she never liked me before, you know, because maybe he ain't had no money before. Maybe she was dating other men. Maybe, you know, she just ain't like him for whatever reason. Now, years later, this man had got some money or this man, you know, he elevated his life. Maybe she vulnerable now, whatever. And she started to like him now. Like, oh, okay, you got some money now. Oh, okay, you, you look better. You, you got yourself in shape now. Yeah, I'm going I'm to give you some, some booty now, right? So he said, hey, woman, you, you got to go, right? So that's number one. You know, either his ex came back or maybe his, the girl of his dreams that he always wanted or envisioned, maybe he finally met her and she gave him some, some booty. Or maybe the girl he always wanted, his crush for years back in the day finally came around and now he she gave him some booty and now you gotta go again. So that's number one. So number two, the second reason why a man will lose interest in you. He don't want to talk to you no more. He done with you. He going to ignore you, block you, and kick you to the curb. And he, he not interested no more. Number two is you showed him way, way, way too much interest back. And you was probably clingy. And you was annoying. And you was doing too much. So what I say in the beginning of this video, sometimes a man, you know, he was chasing you hard in the beginning when you was playing hard to get. Have you ever played hard to get with a man? Or maybe you wasn't even playing. Maybe you didn't even like him like that at first. But then, you know, in the midst of you not liking him, he was chasing you, chasing you, chasing you, calling you. Wanted to see you, wanted to spend money on you, right? And maybe you entertained it a little bit, but you wasn't really tripping over him. You ain't really like him like that. But over time, this man, he started to kind of, you know, warm up to you, right? You kind of warmed up to him. You said, hey, I ain't really like him at first, but he kind of funny. Or he kind of cool. Or, you know... He he pretty he pretty decent for a guy. And then maybe the more time y'all spent together or the more times that he was chasing you and he was wowing you and he was impressing you and proving himself to you and chasing and hunting you, you said, oh, I'm starting to catch feelings. I'm starting to like him too now. I ain't like him at first, but now I'm starting to like him. So this what you do. This where you mess up at. This man always used to be the first one to call you. 
You ain't never called him. He always called you, blowing up your phone. He always used to text you all day long. You would you would take whenever to text him back. You would text him back when you felt like it, or you never texted him first. He always texted you first. This man used to take you out. He used to be begging to take you out. He used to be begging to spend money on you. He used to be begging for your time. And maybe sometimes he was available. Maybe sometimes he wasn't available, right? And you see, the more that you kind of rejected this man low key in the beginning, or the more you played hard to get, even if you wasn't even playing, maybe you wasn't playing hard to get. Maybe you really just was hard to get for this man, right? And he had to really prove himself. But the more that you rejected him, or the more you kind of pushed him away a little bit, or the more you didn't really care, sometimes the more that you don't care about a man, is the more he cares and the more he chasing you, the more he want you to care, the more he want your attention, the more he want your what? Validation. There go that word again. Validation. He want your validation. But now that you done warmed up to him, he say, hey, she's starting to call me now. This is where you mess up. Now you start calling him first. Now you start texting him first or you start texting him, double texting him, long paragraphs texting him. Now you start wanting to see him. When can we hang out again? When can I see you? I miss you. What you doing? Where you at? Hey, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, I miss you so much. I had such a great time with you. You know, once this man started to see that you liked him back, guess what happened? Oh, now I got her validation. Oh, now I got her wrapped around my finger now. Oh, now she not no challenge no more. You see, in the beginning, I was chasing her. I was hunting her because I wanted to conquer her. I wanted to win her over. Now that I got her attention and now that I finally got the booty from her, now that she all on me, now that she calling me and texting me all the time, now that she want to see me, she miss me, you know, now, hey, the chase over. You know, it was all good when she was playing hard to get and I was trying to get her attention. Now that I got her attention, eh, I don't want her no more. I'm on to the next girl to get her attention. Why? Because men are hunters. So sometimes with certain men, some men, they love the chase. They love the hunt. The more you push them away is the more they chase you. But then when you start chasing him or when you start showing interest back, now he don't like you no more. Now he no longer interested. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever showed a man interest back? After he was showing you so much interest in the beginning, chasing you, and you wasn't really tripping over him. But then the day you started showing interest back, now you see his, his whole demeanor change up. Now you see his whole mood change up. Now you see the way he treats you just change up. Why? Because you're not a challenge no more. Because now he feel like he got you now. Now he got comfortable. Now he feel like he, he won you over. So if I already got your attention and your booty, I got your validation. I don't need nothing else. Sometimes a man is only chasing you and only wants you because he just wants either A, the booty, of course, but B, he wants your attention and validation. Sometimes a man only talks to you just for your attention. And once he got your attention, he don't want you no more. Or sometimes he only talking to you for the booty. Sometimes when a man gets your validation, you give him some booty, you sprinkle a little kitty cat on him. Now he don't want you no more because I got what I wanted. All I wanted was some booty and I got it. All I wanted was your attention. I just wanted to know. Some men, they just want to know that they can pull a woman like you. Some men, they just want to know that they have the capabilities to be able to attract 
a woman like you. And once they get a woman like you, once they get you, now they don't want you no more. Because, hey, I was trying to win you over, but now that I got you, I conquered you. I got you wrapped around my finger. Now you're useless to me. Now I don't want to hunt no more. I already caught the prey, so it's nothing to hunt no more. So now I'm on to the next girl to hunt her. You know? And maybe you was being desperate and thirsty. Maybe you was calling this man handsome. You know you so handsome, right? You know you so fine, right? Oh, I miss you. Oh, you so you look so good. Oh, I like your beard. Oh, your haircut looks so nice. Oh, you know, I like your car, your real nice car. I like your house. I like everything about you. I like, I like, I like. Guess what? This man said, oh, <laughs> that was easy. Because guess what? In the beginning, you wasn't even tripping over him. In the beginning, he was the one giving you all the compliments. In the beginning, he was the one calling you beautiful. Say, you so beautiful. You so fine. Girl, your booty so big, girl. Your, ooh, your body looks so good. Ooh, girl. You know, he, he was all over you, right? Just saying how much he admired your your aesthetics, how much he admired your beauty, how much he admired you, how fine you are. But then when you started calling him fine, now he said, oh, <laughs> that was easy. I already got her now. I already got her wrapped around my finger. She's showing me interest. She's showing me too much interest. Now that, now that I got her, now I could pull back. And this is another tactic. I'm going to tell you another tactic men use. A lot of men, they chase you, chase you, chase you, chase you, chase you in the beginning. And once they finally get you, now they fall back. Now they don't call you no more. On purpose. They ignore you. On purpose. They block your number. On purpose. To get a reaction. They want a reaction out of you. They want you to go crazy. They want you to panic. This man wants you to panic. He wants you to go crazy like, wait a minute. This man was just all up in my face, right? Now, he act like I don't even exist. What's going on? Why he not chasing me no more? Why? What happened? Let me go see why he not chasing me. So then you start chasing him. So sometimes a man will show you interest in the beginning and then pull back and stop showing you interest just to get a reaction out of you, just to make you start chasing him now. So he ignored you on purpose just to get a reaction, just to make you go crazy like, what's going on? Why this man not calling me no more how he used to? He used to text me all day. He don't text me no more. He used to take me out. What's up? What happened? How do I get him to chase me back again? How do I win this man over now? So now the roles have reversed. Now, at first, he was chasing your validation. Then he finally got your validation. Then he pulled back. Now he got you wondering, how do I get this man's validation again? So now you're chasing him for his validation. You see how that flipped around? You see how this man, he flip it around. He want to chase you in the beginning just to stop so you could chase him back. So some men, they only lose interest. It wasn't even losing interest. He was never really interested. He was faking. A lot of men, they faking, they phony. And they use manipulation tactics to act like they was interested in you. Just so you could be interested back in him and then you will be chasing him the whole rest of the way and he ain't got to do nothing. He ain't got to take you out no more. He ain't got to call you no more. He ain't got to text no more. He ain't got to spend no more money because guess what? Now you want me so bad, you, you miss that treatment, don't you? Yeah, you miss that princess treatment I was giving you at first. You miss me love bombing you. Yeah, he was love bombing you. A lot of men in the beginning, they love bomb you with dates, expensive dates and gifts and trips 
and all types of stuff, right? But then, guess what? Then he felt like, okay, well, you know, I don't want to do none of that no more. I want her to chase me now. So you got so attached to his treatment, his good treatment, and him just showering you with affection and gifts and love and attention. Now you like, what happened to it? Why you take all that attention and gifts and affection and all these trips away from me? Why are we not going on no more dates no more? No more trips no more. I'm not getting no more benefits no more. How do I get it back? How do I get this man to chase me again? What I do? Where you at? What happened? Now you going crazy panicking, right? And that was all a part of his plan, okay? So sometimes if a man lose interest, don't take it personally because sometimes it's a trap. Sometimes it's a setup just for you to go investigate and see why he pulled back. But he only pulled back on purpose to make you chase him, okay? So that's number two. So number three, the third reason why a man will lose interest in you and he don't want to talk to you no more and he ghost you and he play you and he kick you to the curb and it's just over with out the blue. Number three is... You did something or you said something that might have offended him or he took it as disrespect. So sometimes whether you know it or not or whether you acknowledge it or not or whether you even think that it's offensive or not, sometimes you never know how somebody takes certain things. You know, you might have said something. Let's say you said something and it was a joke. Maybe it was literally a joke. Maybe you was like, you know, poking fun at him. Maybe you say, you know, why your shoes so big? Them shoes too big for you, you know? Or why, or why are you wearing that shirt? You know, you ain't got no other shirt. Or why this, 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 you know? Maybe you was just making a joke. And this man said, what? She don't like my shirt? What? She don't like my shoes? She said, my shoes too big and they look like clown shoes. I don't think that's funny. I don't want to talk to her no more. What? She said, I got on this, on this red and white striped shirt. She said, I look like Where's Waldo. No, uh-uh. I don't like that. Or what? This woman said she don't like my car. She think that it's a, she say it's a girl car. She said, oh, you got this car? My, my best friend got this car. It's a girl car. All my girls got this car. And he said, what? You call my car a girl car? What? You know? Or just any little thing. It could be something small. Something just, just playing around. Anything. You could have said anything. Why Why? Why yo, Why yo? this look like this? Why that look like that? And this man took offense to it. Why? Because he's sensitive. It's some people that don't know how to take a joke. It's some men don't know how to take a joke. Or they take offense to a joke. Any little bit of joke that you tell a man or you making, you poking fun at him, but you not trying to, you know, talk bad about him per se. Like you not really trying to just hurt his feelings. You just, you know, joking around, playing around with him. You know, you just poking fun at him just because, you know, and you feel like it's harmless is nothing. Why you getting mad? Why you getting upset? Like, I just said something. You know, I was trying to be funny. Maybe you was trying to be funny. But this man, he ain't think that was funny. He ain't think that your joke was funny. Maybe you touched on the insecurity. Maybe it was something about his insecurity. Maybe you said, oh, you know, you so short. You know, why you so short? You can't even reach up there. Move, move out the way. I'm gonna get it. You so short. Move out the way. This man said, Urgh. she called me short. I don't like being short. And she talking about my height. And I don't like the fact that I'm five foot five. And she called me short. Hm. You know, so a lot of men, they upset because maybe you called them short or maybe you called them la chubby or maybe you made a comment, whatever, right? And it might have been an insecurity. He know he's short and he know other women probably called him short before 
or other people call him short. Even some of his homeboys call him short. And now you calling him short too. So now he's like, I don't want her around me. She think I'm short. And I don't like the fact that I'm short. You know? So sometimes it's just that. Anything. You could have said anything. And he took offense to it. Like it was disres it was just so super disrespectful. And he can't come back from that. And you hurt his feelings. You hurt his masculinity. You hurt his pride. You hurt his ego. He's so sensitive. He about to go cry. You done bout made this man cry in the car. He crying in the car right now. But you thought it was a harmless joke. And it probably was just a harmless joke. But he's so sensitive that he like, I don't want to talk to her no more, right? So some men are just real sensitive. And especially when it comes to like, you know, something about his masculinity, like his height, maybe, you know, the size of the dingling, maybe, you know, the way that he does any type of manly, manly stuff, you know, maybe you call him weak. Maybe you say you're not strong, you weak. Like, you can't open this jar. You're not even strong. Move out the way. Let me open the jar. And then you open the jar. And he he could open the jar. You know? So, something like that that attacks his masculinity, make him feel weak or small or insignificant like a little boy, it might hurt his feelings, right? And his pride and his self-esteem. Or maybe you did something. Maybe you did something that crossed the line. Or maybe he heard from word around town that you did something. Maybe he heard, hey, you know, she used to get down with so-and-so. Or she used to talk to, you know, your other homeboy. Or she used to talk to this guy over here. She used to talk to this guy. She used to talk to this guy. You know, maybe it's rumors going around. Or maybe he heard from the grapevine. He heard from somebody that said that you were a promiscuous woman or you got around or you was a H to the O to the E, you know, and this man, you know, he just heard about you or maybe you did something to him. Maybe it was something that you did and you crossed the line. You know, it could have been anything and any little thing that he felt like. No, I can't mess with this woman. You know, I ain't like the way she did that. I ain't like the way how she didn't acknowledge me when this happened. Or I didn't like the way I didn't feel like this was ladylike. You know, oh, she burped. Oh, no, even though she said excuse me and it just came out. I don't like the fact that she burped. That she should be more ladylike. You know, it could be anything. It could be something small like that. Maybe you had to burp a little bit. You know, everybody burp, you know, but maybe it wasn't no obnoxious burp. Maybe you kind of just burped a little bit. You said, oh, and you said, oh, excuse me, excuse me. He said, oh, no, oh, no, that's not ladylike or just anything. Oh, she chewing. I don't like the way she eating her food. The way she eating her food, you know, no, nah, that's not ladylike. I can't talk to her or the way how she did this, the way she did that, I can't talk to her. She not ladylike. It's always ladylike, whatever, whatever that is, right? So he just, it's something you did. Or maybe it was something that you did directly to him. Maybe you did something to him and he didn't like it and he felt offended by it and now he don't wanna talk to you no more. Cause he's sensitive, I'm telling you, you think I'm playing. But a lot of these men, they are sensitive. They little bitty boys. They take offense to anything you do, anything you say. They just, they feelings get hurt because their masculinity is so fragile. Any little thing can just throw them overboard and make them feel less than, less than a man, right? So that's number three. It could be anything. So number four, the fourth reason why. A uh, man, he might just lose interest in you and you don't know why he blocked you. You don't know why he ghosted you. You don't know why he don't want to talk to you no more. Number four is he changed his mind about you or he felt like y'all wasn't compatible. Sometimes it's no reason at all. Sometimes a man just changed his mind. Hey, I liked her a little bit. She was cool. Eh, I don't like her no more. It ain't that, you ain't even did nothing. Some men, they just weird. 
Some men are just weird. They, they might say, hey, you know, I like her at first. She was cool. I was getting to know her. You know, but he, we had a good time, whatever. Then he started just feeling like, mm, is this really what I want? Do I really want her? I don't think I do. And do I really like her? I don't know. You know, maybe I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, she cool, but, you know, I'm not really tripping over her. You know, whatever. Maybe it was something about you. Maybe he just didn't. Maybe he just was not excited about you. It's some men they just changed their mind. Maybe he thought you were beautiful at first and he wanted to get to know you. Then when he got to know you, he said, oh, this girl kind of an airhead. Like she not really all that, you know, smart or maybe she boring. Maybe it's not that you are not smart or you're a dummy or nothing. Maybe he just felt like you boring. Like she boring. We not compatible. We don't like the same stuff. We have nothing in common. Maybe we don't like the same stuff. She like this. I like that. She like waffles. I like pancakes. Whatever. She like apple juice. I like orange juice. We just can't see eye to eye. You know, it could be anything. I'm telling you, a lot. Some men are very critical when they feel like me and you not on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Me and her, me and this woman, we just not seeing eye to eye. She like BMWs, I like Mercedes. I don't think we can match. You know, we see things too differently. You know, she went to school, I'm an entrepreneur. Maybe we don't see eye to eye. You know, maybe she go to church every Sunday. Maybe I don't go to church every Sunday. We don't see eye to eye, you know? Maybe she like to hang out with her friends and go to the club. Maybe I'm more of a homebody and I don't like to go nowhere. We are two separate pages, you know? Maybe she believe in a man should pay 100% of the bills. Maybe I believe in 50-50, whatever. We don't see eye to eye. Maybe she... Whatever, it could be so many things. I can go on and on and on about this and that, this and that. She likes Sprite, I like Mountain Dew, whatever. It could literally be anything, I'm telling you, anything. And he feel like we just not compatible. We not compatible. She like to go hang out and do her. I, I, I'm more of a house person, I'm a homebody. I don't like all that extra stuff, right? I didn't grow up like how she grew up. She grew up in a different environment and she want different things out of life. I'm not on that same wavelength. I can't, me and her don't see things together. You know, maybe, you know, she voted for this person to be president and I want to vote for this person to be president. Whatever, you know, she want this out of life. She want to be wined and dined and I want to save money. You know, she talking about she want a man to spend money on her. I don't have no money or I want to save my money or whatever. So sometimes he might feel like y'all are on two separate pages. Y'all y'all don't align. You know, it's, it's no chemistry. It's no commonalities between each other. Y'all have nothing in common, right? So he like, I can't talk to her. Her mindset is on a whole nother wave than what I'm on. I'm going over here in this direction. She going over here, you know, and whatever. Maybe I want kids. She don't want no more kids or she don't want kids at all, you know, or maybe she want kids, but I don't want no kids or I don't want no more kids, you know, anything. We just don't see eye to eye about something. Like maybe it's a big topic, like maybe what y'all believe in as far as maybe you go to church, maybe he don't, or maybe it's something small like pancakes and waffles. It could be anything. And he just like, we, we don't see eye to eye, right? So that's number four. He just changed his mind and he felt like you boring. Maybe you just, maybe he felt like you just boring or y'all just don't, y'all just don't have no chemistry. Maybe he feel like you just boring. It's like, we just hang out and we quiet. And maybe he feel like he got to force all the conversations. It's some man, he might feel like, 
I gotta force all the conversations. And, and I don't like the fact that she's not engaging in conversation with me. I got to force a conversation to force to get to know her. And it's not really just flowing. You know how the conversation just flows. But sometimes when y'all not really compatible, y'all don't even know what to talk about. So he just talking about anything and you not really responding back to it because you don't really care what he talking about. Because it's not really interesting you. And you're not really interesting him. So, you, you know, maybe it's just it just don't work, right? So, that's number four. So, number five. The fifth and last and final reason why a man will lose interest in you. He don't want to talk to you no more. He done blocked you on everything. He don't want to see you no more. Don't want to kick it with you. Don't want to skate with you. Don't want to do nothing with you no more. Number five is he is afraid of getting too close to a woman. And he afraid to fall in love again. Some men, they afraid. They terrified to fall in love again. They, they terrified to get with a woman again. They terrified to share they love and be vulnerable with a woman again. Why? Because he been hurt before. It's a lot of men they been hurt before. They been hurt before by the, by the woman, the little girl. It wasn't even a woman, a little girl in the third grade. When he was in the third grade, the, the little girl that he had a crush on, she went to recess with another little boy. Or she shared her little juice box with another little boy. She shared her fruit snacks with another little boy. You know, she shared her graham crackers and her goldfish crackers with another little boy. Right? So, he got mad. And from that day on, he said, I would never trust another woman. I would never give my heart to another girl, another woman, another female, period. I would never give my heart, my soul, I will never love or have a crush on another girl, woman at all, ever again, right? So, it rolled us right into his adulthood. He still don't trust women. Or maybe it wasn't the girl in the third grade, but sometimes it really do be like that. Sometimes it might have been the girl maybe in college or the girl in high school, or the girl just recently, in recent years, maybe, you know, a few years back, or the last girl he talked to, or his ex, his ex-girlfriend, his baby mama, his ex-wife, maybe they traumatized this man. Maybe his ex-girlfriend or ex-wife, maybe she cheated on him. She cheated on him. She had sex with a whole bunch of other men and cheated on him. Or maybe she got pregnant, even worse. Maybe his ex got pregnant by another man while they were together. And it just broke his heart, right? That, that you having another man's baby and you supposed to be with me. Or just the cheating in general. Just the fact that you cheated on me, period. You might not got pregnant, but you cheated on me with a whole nother man. And now my feelings is hurt. And now I can't trust no other woman ever again. So that's why he don't trust you. Because the ex broke his heart. The ex used to talk bad about him. The ex used to, you know, diminish his confidence. She used to talk about him. She used to say, you know, you little boy, you so short and you, you ain't never going to be nothing. You a broke little boy and you ain't got nothing. You ain't never going to be nothing. You ain't nothing. Your mama ain't nothing. She raised you to be ain't nothing just like her. Whatever, you know. So maybe the, the ex-girlfriend or the ex-wife used to destroy his ego, his confidence, his self-esteem is so low. So he don't even trust women. He been, he been hurt by women so much. Maybe it's been a repetitive cycle. Maybe he been hurt by multiple women. This woman dogged him out, cheated on him. This woman was disrespecting him. This woman slept with his homeboy. This woman, you know, was toxic and used to, you know, vandalize his property or used to, you know, tussle with him. You know what I'm saying? Physically. 
or anything. You know what I'm saying? This woman over here, she used to be a liar. This woman over here used to be, you know, whatever. She she ain't never used to take accountability. It was always my fault. Whatever. So now he say, I cannot give my heart to another woman. I don't want to be hurt no more. I don't want to be cheated on no more. Even though my, my, my soul still wants to be with another human being. Even though I still yearn for companionship. He still want companionship, but he too afraid of getting attached. So some men, they so afraid of getting attached because they got abandonment issues. Maybe his ex-wife or ex-girlfriend left him. She left him and went with another man. Or left him, period, because she ain't like him no more. She dumped him. Maybe he was doing everything right as a man, but she just, maybe she lost interest in him and dumped him and left him. So now he say, hey, I never want to get close because I got abandonment issues. It's a lot of men, they got abandonment issues. They are afraid of getting abandoned again. They afraid of getting attached to another woman again because you may wake up one day and you might leave me. So I don't even want to give you that opportunity to reject me. I never want to give you that opportunity to abandon me like I've been abandoned before. Or maybe it wasn't even a woman that abandoned him. Maybe his father abandoned him. Maybe his mother abandoned him. Maybe he had friends and other family members that abandoned him. Maybe his closest people around him, he could not depend on. They abandoned him. So now he got abandonment issues with people in general, not just women, but people in general. And he have a hard time with connecting with people, with any type of relationship, friendship, family, business, and romantic relationships. You know, so he don't even trust people in general. Because he's been abandoned and been hurt by so many people in his life. So now this when he self-sabotages. Remember that word. He self-sabotages the relationship. He self-sabotages everything. Because he say, hey, I'm going to just push her away. Uh-uh. I feel like I'm starting to catch feelings. I feel like I'm starting to like her. I feel like I'm starting to fall in love with her. So I need to push her away so I don't get too attached. Because if I get too attached to her and she leave me or she break up with me or she cheat on me or she lie to me or she do anything to hurt me, I won't be able to take that pain no more. So I'm going to push her away. As soon as I start catching feelings and I start liking her, uh-uh, I got to push her away. So that's why you'll see a lot of men they will start liking you in the beginning. And once they feel like they falling in love with you or they falling for you or they starting to catch feelings and like you, they start pushing you away or they start creating distance on purpose or they start falling back on purpose. All because they don't want to get too attached and be abandoned or hurt or played or used or manipulated again. You know, maybe his ex-wife Maybe they got a divorce. She took all his money. You know, sometimes a man, he got divorced from his wife. She took everything. Now he say, I can never trust another woman. You know, anything could have happened. She took the kids. She took the house. She took the cars. And I can't trust another woman. Right? So it's so many reasons. So he just pushed every, every woman away. Even if you a good woman, you might say, Sid, I'm a good woman and I would never hurt him. I would never do nothing like that. I'm not his ex. I'm not his ex-girlfriend. I'm not his baby mama. I'm not his ex-wife. I would never do that. You might not never do that, but he don't know that. He think all women are the same. So he trying to protect himself and his pride, his ego, his self-esteem. And he just trying to protect just his whole masculinity because 
you know, he been hurt so bad, right? So, anyways, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why a man will pull back from you, will ignore you, he lose interest in you, and he don't want to talk no more. Those are my five reasons, okay? So, ladies, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.